Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this 2023 Infiniti QX60 Pure Front Wheel Drive. A lot of the QX60s we have in our neck of the woods are all-wheel drive, but this is a little bit more of a rare example of front-wheel drive. You might find these a little bit more in the southern part of the country where they don't get quite as much snow, ice, and things like that. But uh, us here in our mild Pacific Northwest climate, it's February and we haven't had any snow in the lowlands, at least in the Seattle-Tacoma area. Uh, so, you know, like I say, if you don't go over those uh, snowy mountain passes, you don't ski, you just drive around the Puget Sound area, you don't really need all-wheel drive. Um, you know, maybe some people live on a really icy, you know, steep hill or something like that. But for the most part, you're going to do just fine with a front-wheel drive and a vehicle like this in the Pacific, North Pacific Northwest. You have the weight of the engine over the front wheels. You have a great traction and stability control system. Uh, you know, I grew up in Boston. I've driven <laughs> lots of cars in the snow. Um, so, you know, I know what cars are capable of, and I've had plenty of front-wheel drive vehicles in Boston in the snow, and I did uh, just fine. Uh, so, what are the benefits of having a front-wheel drive QX60 versus an all-wheel drive? Uh, some might think there's a lot of detractions, but there are actually some benefits. If you're looking for the maximum fuel efficiency, a front-wheel drive one is going to get about one, or mile, one mile or two miles per gallon better in fuel efficiency versus a comparable all-wheel drive one. The all-wheel drive system adds weight and it also adds drag to the drivetrain, so that reduces your gas mileage. Also, you know, if you have to service the QX60, which you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take care of this, you need to service the all-wheel drive system. So it can cost a little bit more money to service an all-wheel drive QX60, um, having to service that all-wheel drive system versus a front-wheel drive. And lastly, it's a lower price point. You know, usually a comparable all-wheel drive one versus front-wheel drive could be, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars higher. I could add between, you know, forty and eighty dollars a month to your car payment just going from an all-wheel drive to a front-wheel drive. And you know, we we deal with lots of people who are payment shoppers. So obviously, you know, some people have a payment in mind, and this, uh, you know, front-wheel drive QX60 might get them there versus an all-wheel drive. Uh, this is the Pure, which is uh, the entry-level version of the QX60, but the QX60 is a luxury vehicle, so uh, even though this is the entry-level, it's still very, very nicely equipped, a lot better equipped than uh, our stablemate, the Nissan Pathfinder, which uh, we're part of the uh, we're part of the Nissan family. Infinity is Nissan's luxury division, so they sell the Pathfinder, which is a platform t twin of the QX60, very mechanically sim similar, styling and equipment's a little bit different on the QX50, it's QX60 and the Pathfinder. Maybe one of these days I'll do a comparison video. So this one has this nice uh, leather interior, uh, perforated leather interior. We have a uh, power and heated front seats, electronic parking brake. Uh, the QX60 had a complete redesign in 2022, making 23 a great uh, year to consider. We have a backup camera. Even though this one does not have navigation, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can have navigation on your phone and project it right up there on that screen. We have a wireless charging pad. We have a big Pan America sunroof. Um, we have a power sunshade to dim things down if it gets too bright out. Um, and it also opens. Not very bright today, unfortunately. Uh, we have a nice uh, leather up steering wheel. We have steering wheel paddle shifters. And when they redesigned the QX60, Gone's the CVT. Not too many people were crazy about the continuously variable transmission in the older QX60. I think we actually did lose a little bit of business from some of the competitors that had non-CVTs. But uh, Nissan and Infiniti remedied the situation when they redesigned this platform. Now it has a nine-speed automatic transmission, which uh, for a lot of people is going to offer better performance, better driving feel. And you have these uh, string of paddle shifters that can take control of those four gears. Beautiful black piano finish. We have uh, memory seats. Uh, power folding mirrors. Uh, we have great safety features. We have blind spot warning, um, forward collision warning, forward emergency braking. This one's a really nice uh, color combination in graphite gray on uh, graphite leather. The QX60 has a nice stately appearance, uh, very truckish styling on the front end. Very nice look to it. For an engine, we have the award-winning uh, VQ35 engine. It makes about 290 horsepower. Maintenance-free timing chains. I've been with a Nissan Infiniti for over 20 years. I've seen lots of variations of that 3.5 V6 with 200 and even versions of 300,000 miles still running strong. It's a fantastic engine, very reliable. Being a mid-size uh, crossover, you have lots of space in the second row. The second row seats, they slide back and forth. They recline. We have rear climate control. For those uh, who have kids in forward-facing uh, car seats, the uh, QX60's uh, 
passenger side second row seat has the ability to have a forward facing car seat in place and the ability to fold the seat forward uh, without having to remove that uh, forward facing car seat for third row access. Some of the competition, the way the latch system is designed, you actually have to completely remove the seat in order to have third row access, kind of a pain. And the third row seats don't have uh, too bad a space either. We also have a uh, power rear lift gate. Uh, the second and third row seats, they fold fairly flat, making this thing a great cargo hauler. We have a little bit extra storage into there as well. Well, there you have it. One beautiful example of a 2023 QX60 Pure front wheel drive. One beautiful uh, mid-size luxury crossover. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day.